everyone. Long time no see. I think it's been about three weeks or so since I've actually filmed a video. Um, so I thought I'd get straight back into action with a haul slash March favourites. Um, no, I, I did think I bought a lot in March, but perhaps I didn't. Um, there's not as much here as I thought there was. It's probably all just online window shopping. Um, so I've got a few mixed things today. Um, there's books, Blu-rays, figures, just a few other things that I've bought. Um, sorry for the glare on my glasses. Um, it's strange weather outside. The sun's just peeping through and I can't see without my glasses. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you can probably see is that my background has changed a little, or more so been upgraded. Um, we went from quite a smaller TV to this one's 43 inch LG. Um, it's not as big as the one we have in the lounge room, but we thought we should upgrade for the bedroom, seeing as we watch a lot of Blu-rays. Um, so upgraded TV, number one, it's the best, it's fast, picture is amazing. Um, and to go with a new Blu-ray player as well. Um, mostly we just watch our Blu-rays off the Xbox One in the lounge room. But now we've got the whole setup ready to go in the bedroom. Falling asleep to The Force Awakens very shortly. Pre-ordered that. Cannot wait. Um, but it means that we can watch all of Ben's animated movies before we go to sleep as well. So that's quite amazing. Very happy with that. It was quite cheap as well. Um, so next thing I guess we're going to a Blu-ray that I bought, quite a classic for my family, it's probably not the best movie in the world, well actually it's a trilogy, so the Librarian Trilogy, um, this is probably just classic family movie, um, budget Indiana Jones, um, so it's got Quest for the Spear, Return to King Solomon's Mines and Curse of the Judas Chalice. Um, they're just so fun to watch, so easy and enjoyable. Um, I used to watch them with my family all the time. I think they own them as well. But this was only $16 for all three. Um, can't go past it. Um, I know Ben doesn't, definitely doesn't agree that they're as good as Indiana Jones and, you know, they're not quite. But um, if you're into something fun, adventure, the Librarian Trilogy, they're so good. Next up is a book that I actually bought for Ben for Christmas. Um, I grabbed it last minute after listening to a review, I think it was on Collider, Movie Talk. Um, it's a Star Wars book, How Star Wars Conquered the Universe. As you can see, it is quite thick. Um, Ben's quite a fast reader and it took him quite a while to get through it. Um, I have only just started, I think I'm in chapter two at the moment, but it's really interesting. Um, so far it started way beyond the time of George Lucas, um, delves into World War II, um, the Japanese influences on Star Wars, George Lucas's life, um, uh, the history of the merchandising, um, there is just so much in here, I can't explain how much, um, I haven't really got into too much at the moment, but I'll let you know how it goes, so I've been reading this in my lunch breaks lately. Um, it's quite dense, there is a lot going on in it, um, but I am enjoying it so far and it's actually giving me some ideas for film comparison and study for my upcoming PhD research proposal that I have to make and Star Wars, yes, that will be included in that um, alongside the um, Japanese films that I'm interested in. Um, yeah, actually if anyone has any suggestions on Japanese films in comparison to perhaps some Western films, specifically sci-fi. Um, that'd be great. I am at a loss. I have a huge research proposal to come up with in the coming months. Um, but this book, I think is definitely going to help me and pick it up if you're a Star Wars fan. Next up is actually another book. Um, I picked this up yesterday. Um, I always see books like this and I just ignore them because there is only so much you can learn about a TV show and I feel like I probably know it all given that I have watched the entire series about nine times. Um, so I picked 
this up from our local comic book store. It is an X-Files book. So the agents, the bureau and the syndicate. It's an official collector's book. Um, it's got everything from bios on characters to episode breakdowns, um, the actual actors, plot devices, um, story arcs, interviews. Um, it says it's got behind the scenes secrets revealed and in-depth features investigating the mythology of the show. So this was only $28. Can't wait to get into it. Um, haven't had time yet. So I'm actually finishing season eight at the moment for the millionth time. So just kind of want to get season eight, nine and the movie out of the way and then I can get straight into this. Um, I know there's bigger ones available and we've got quite a few other X-Files -Bo books um, at the moment. But yeah, can't wait to read this. Um, if you've read it before, let me know if it's actually useful or really interesting to read if you're an X-Files fan. Um, yeah, hopefully that's good. So the next two items are actually quite expensive items that I treated myself to this month. Um, I figured while I'm in quite a good paying job um, for the next couple of weeks before I go back to my old job, I should treat myself to some things. Um, so both of them are things that I've wanted for ages and I just thought, why not treat yourself when you can. Um, so first up is my new Nixon watch. Here we go. Here we go. So it's got a stainless steel band and Swarovski crystals all around the outside. Um, all silver, the way I like it. Um, yeah, so it's quite a big face. Uh, it's actually been quite scratched at the moment from laying my wrist on my desk, moving it back and forth. Um, but it's so pretty. I can't really catch the light there. But yeah, treated myself to that. Um, pretty much wear it every day. I should probably put it on now. Um, also helps me from checking my phone all the time just to know the time. Um, quite a nice jewellery statement as well. Um, I haven't had a proper nice watch before, I don't think. Um, I bought myself quite a cheap watch recently and it just broke. So... New Nixon watch, um, it's the Nixon Women's 3820. And something else expensive that I treated myself to, I have wanted these for years, so that another thing that I thought, why not, I might as well buy, is a pair of Karen Walker sunglasses. Um, so they come in kind of a mint greeny blue case with the Karen Walker logo on the front there, um, inside. So I can't actually remember the style name for these ones because I looked at so many, but I ended up getting them off sunglasshut.com, um, which is an Australian site. You can actually buy them in town from the store, but they didn't have these specific ones. So they're all black with tortoiseshell corners and gold detailing. Um, they're quite big, um, but yeah, these were just over 300 Australian dollars so they are very expensive designer sunglasses but once again they feel incredibly sturdy um, they're amazing in comparison to other kind of $20 sunglasses that you can buy here um, I am prone to breaking sunglasses but I feel as though uh, because they were so expensive I will look after them um, they're actually filthy at the moment because it rained yesterday while I was wearing them um, but I'll try them on there you go, so you can see how big they are, um, but I think that they're beautiful. Um, hmm. <laughs> so the next two items are kind of body skincare items, um, both from companies that I love, that I use every day, probably no surprise. Um, so the first one is from Lush, it's their Comforter Shower Cream. Um, I've only ever used the Comforter Bubble Bar before, um, the kind of pink swirly one. Um, and I never was a huge fan of the scent for the cream, um, but then recently I gave it a smell. And I think it used to be a limited edition scent um, in the cream, 
but I think I just fell in love with it and now I want to use this every day of a snow fairy. I'm an avid snow fairy lover. I use that every day, um, but this has definitely taken snow fairy's place. Um, so it says, like a cuddle in a bottle, cypress oil, cassis absolute and bergamot oil create an uplifting, reassuring fragrance. Um, it's pink and sparkly, just like Snow Fairy is, but I think it just smells a lot better. There we go. So loving that one. Use that every day. Ben's been using it as well. Um, probably going to buy the massive bottle as soon as this runs out. Um, and I have a comforter bubble bar at the moment as well, so our bathroom smells amazing. Um, and the next item I have is... Um, another body wash, something else to keep in the shower. Um, this one's by Sukin, an Australian natural skincare brand. It's their Energizing Body Scrub. So this is a new product that came out in the last couple of weeks um, alongside a few oil balancing products, I think. Um, I don't really need those. I use the Sukin Greens products every day. They work perfectly fine for me. Um, but I love the Frank Body Scrub, the coffee scrub that comes in the brown bags. Um, that's another Australian product that people are obsessed with um, and that is amazing but I thought I'd try this brand. Um, price difference, I mean I think this is about $3 cheaper, this was about $12 I think. I'm not sure on the size comparison though, this is 200 mils frank, um, probably not much more. Um, so this is more of a cream, it's more of a cream you can see. Um, like a moisturizer and the coffee coffee granules are inside um, Definitely different to the Frank scrub That is basically just pure coffee um, but Yeah, trying this out not sure if I like it as much as Frank But definitely a good alternative for it. So if you love coffee grab this um, it doesn't have a super strong coffee smell But still amazing for $12 next thing is adorable um, I'm lucky that I can fit into some young girls clothes still um, because they are amazingly cheap in comparison to women's clothing. Um, so I found a pair of pyjamas that I loved. Um, they're only $25 for the set which is amazing in comparison to Peter Alexander pyjamas. Um, and you'll probably be able to see why I bought them. Star Wars! <laughs> um, so... It's a set, we've got a long sleeve top, um, orange Star Wars logo right across the middle there. Um, it's raised, it's like a plastic gel feel. Um, and then they're covered in this adorable print. We've got C-3PO, Yoda, uh, Boba Fett, Stormtroopers, whole gang. Um, so top, and then Adorable matching pants. Um, these are incredibly comfortable, more comfortable than some of the other kind of designer pajamas that I've had in the past. So, um, if you skip the child section of Target, which is where these are from, definitely have a look. Um, they've got adorable pajamas in the boys section as well. If you think that's strange, well, you should definitely give it a go because they are so cheap, so comfortable, and I mean, the quality is the same. Just target quality, um, but little girls' pyjamas. Only a couple of things to go. So the next two things are pop vinyls, which you probably know that I love. Um, I'm addicted to getting ones that mean a lot to me, the characters from movies that I love or, or TV shows. Um, it is addictive, um, sometimes it is tempting to buy ones that um, are cute or you think you want in your collection but you know perhaps you don't need them, it's just to build the collection. Um, I know I feel that way about hundreds of them but I just don't need them, um, I just at this point have no room for them. Um, so going off the theme of my thesis that I handed in last year, I bought the six inch Godzilla figure and if you can see the two NECA Godzillas here in the background you'll be able to know that I love Godzilla um, and also if you saw my Japan haul you'll see how many Godzilla items that I bought. Um, so this is the six inch, I know they just released a glow in the dark one as well 
um, and Godzilla on fire. Um, but I really wanted this one. I actually ordered this in about October and it came through earlier in the month um, from comic book store. But I probably thought that um, I had forgotten all about it, but I was so happy that this finally came in. There he is. So, red mouth with teeth. Cute little hands and detail. And we've got the scaling on the back there. Um, quite sturdy. I love the 6 inch ones. I think they're so much more worth the money. I mean, these ones are about $33. And the little ones are anywhere between $17 and $20 here in Australia. Um, which for a plastic figure, I guess, can be kind of out of control when some of the others you can get for that price are quite detailed. Um, but he's adorable. I love him. He sits with my other Godzilla figures in the lounge room. And I've got one more of the smaller figures to show you as well, um, which completes my little collection. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see him. I posted a photo the other day of my Gremlins family. Um, I've got the Gizmo Pop vinyl, um, a stripe figure, and my um, singing Gizmo figure, the plush one. So I picked up the Pop vinyl of Stripe yesterday. Um, I've been looking for this for ages, but no, I seem to have it except a random store in town. It just sells knickknacks and football items. Um, so it was a little bit more expensive getting it from kind of a non-normal retailer. Um, but he's adorable. He's not kind of as detailed as some of the others and the paintwork isn't as nice. Um, but I needed him to finish my collection. There we go. Um, he's got blue splattering all over his face. Um, don't quite remember that from the films, but you know, creative licensing. Uh, he is adorable. He sits there with my other stripe and next to my gizmos, so... He's a little collector's item for me just to go with the rest of the family. Right, last thing, um, a little bit strange, it's a food item, um, but we've been going through about two tubs of this every week at the moment, so it's fair to say that it is a March favourite. Um, so it's the Coconut uh, Vanilla Ice Cream by So Good. Um, I'm not sure if this is purely an Australian item, um, but it is dairy and gluten free, so as a vegan to find cheap alternative ice cream in the supermarket is amazing. This is about $7 a tub, which is half the price of all other coconut based ice creams that you can get here in Australia. They are amazing, they come in amazing flavours, but to find this in Woolworths is amazing. Um, it's got chunks of vanilla bean through it, it is so smooth. Um, and I cover it in Hershey's topping, which also happens to be vegan. Um, so if you haven't found this yet in your local Woolworths, if you live here in Australia, definitely pick it up. I think there's an almond one as well, but I'm yet to find that. Um, poor old Tasmania just doesn't get everything that the mainland does. Um, but yeah, pick this up if you're looking for an ice cream alternative. Um, even if you are just starting or you're lactose intolerant, Pick some of this up it is amazing so that's everything for today thanks so much for watching um, there was a little bit more there than I thought there was um, I did do a fair bit of shopping towards the start of the month however most of that was for Ben's birthday got some figures blu-rays you know a bit of everything as usual um, so I'm hoping to get some more videos out shortly now that I have a lot of spare time so if you have any ideas for videos that you want to see from me let me know in the comments below uh, remember to subscribe if you want to see more content from me and that's everything thanks for watching see you next time